today we look at the cardio version with the Corpals 3T. Andy, I'm going to ask you to explain to us what exactly is cardio version and when should we use it? The aim of cardio version is to terminate tachycardic arrhythmias, regardless whether it is atrial or ventricular. It works like a defibrillation with the only difference that in this case the current impulse is delivered synchronized to the R waves. This prevents the delivery of the current to the vulnerable phase of the heart. Verena, could you briefly explain to us what equipment do you need for cardioversion? In addition to Corpals 3T, I also need accessories to deliver the shock. I can use the core patch electrodes for this, but also the hard paddles or shock spoons, depending on what I have available at the time. A monitoring ECG is not necessary to perform cardioversion, but in most cases one has already been done for the patient beforehand. Then I would suggest that we look at the whole thing in practice. For cardioversion, I will switch to manual therapy mode. Now I can select R wave synchronization by pressing the sync button. We are now setting the cardioversion energy. Here, as an example, 120 joules of emergency cardioversion. The energy is prepared by pressing the charge button. Attention, we are cardioverting the patient, everyone away from the patient. By pressing and holding down the shock button, the energy can be delivered. Verena, could you briefly summarize the most important points regarding cardioversion? Sure, cardioversion is the electrical therapy, meaning therapy of electricity or tachycardia arrhythmia. After the cardioversion has taken place, I need to check whether the rhythm has changed accordingly and whether I still have a pulse on the patient. It is also advised at this point to perform a diagnostic ECG, that is a 12-led ECG or an ECG max, where I can also assess the posterior wall and the right side of the heart can be assessed. We hope you found this video helpful. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye.